allows us to do isolation so no off bacteria can come in, can only go out the filtration system. Okay, do they still have any more? Yes, sir. We should find out a, 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 a hospital that we could donate one of these to. You know that money? That may be something some donors can do. Can you, uh, I need the information where to get it. Okay. Uh, reach out to you? Yeah, reach out to me. All right. Yeah, this is this okay. this is like a room. Y yes, sir. Okay. And you could have a ward where you keep patients who are critically ill. You keep them outside the hospital right. to recover. Right. What's the role of the ventilator? What does that do? To provide uh, respiratory aid assistance to a patient who's in. You can't have a problem breathing. Yes. Sir. Okay. Got gotcha. well, What's happening is that the patient's lungs are filling up with water and they can't breathe. That's okay. the cause of death. Wow. And, okay. um, yeah, so that's the so that's why we need the ventilators. Yes, sir. And how are you guys on ventilators? We're low. We had 56. We're down to 17. And we're worried about that by the weekend we're going to be out of ventilators. So that's our real crisis, crisis right now. Yes, sir. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. That's really really. So uh, we heard the governor got 4,000, and we we need some of them. Okay, I'm gonna be on the phone. I'm gonna be on the phone with this person today, and I'm gonna tell him we need to get an account of how many need ventilators. Fifty. Okay. Okay. Good. Fifty okay. be good. So two things. One is we have 20 beds all ready to go, like this, from the surgery center, mm -hmm. right? So if we got FEMA money in, we could like we convert that into a real hospital. I'm I'm just thinking just been to send me one. Um, this is really good. We're gonna look into. Do this.